just getting home and then what do you call this i had gotten on the hunt with my co-worker eric and it was always it's always good chilling with you bro and i've been knowing eric for about three or four years and he's not just a friend he's like a brother to me and i'm really glad that he started his own youtube channel and he's about five subs away from reaching 100 and today it was a great day regardless if it was raining for a short period of time but we had gone to toshi station and target and i had traded some pops and most of my marvel legends to toshi, uh, toshi station and i didn't expect my credit to be how much and i had to ask the owner again how much was my credit and when he told me i was just really shocked and just put it this way i had so much credit over there i even looked out for eric and basically if i eat he's gonna eat as well and plus he always looks out for me every time he sees a fig, fig that i'm looking for he lets me know he gives me a heads up but let me show you guys a sneak peek of the haul there you go and before i show you guys the haul it's just a clip two clips at target hope you guys enjoy all right Target in Springfield, and they got the aim scientists, the Mamu, the Hood, Arcade, and what's her name? Lady Best Right. Mm, that'd be it for Legends. And let's see what else they got. And nothing. Still the same thing. And I'm with my bro, co-worker, Eric. Say what's up, Eric. Say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I only want this big because of the accessory. It'll be really dope for some Cobras. And for elites. Nothing really. This is same old, same old, and I don't even see no Star Wars. All right, let's see what they got for NECA. They do got a few kits, and they do got Doc from Part Two. Really dope. And this is new. And I have no idea who this is, and. I never watched it. And let's see what they got for pops. Mm. Oh, they got Goonies data. Here's a lot. This is the rest of the way. Here's Mikey, Brian. Ah, this is dope. And if I see anything else, and Mighty Ducks. Wonder if there's a chase. Nope. Oh, this is pretty dope. Dang. I'll see, but I'll hold on to um data. real quick there you go that's a little bit better and if you guys want to know what eric picked up today just head over to his channel and you'll see what he picked up and i picked up about four figs and the first one it was part of my childhood i grew up watching motu thundercats silverhawks 
Mask, Dino Riders, G.I. Joe, Transformers, you know, all that good stuff. And one of the cartoons I used to watch was Voltron. And let me just show you guys what I picked up. I had picked up Super 7 Voltron. There's the back. And right there. And that glare is just horrible, but... There you go, and there's the bio, and I'm not sure if you could read it, but I would love to have the Voltron. I think the price point is $400, but I'm just gonna be patient, and one of these days, I'm gonna pick it up, and there's the really dope artwork. Let me see that there. And the next one, it's Black Series and the Mandalorian seasons one and two, hands down. That to me, that's better than the movies, the and the animated series. That's just me. That's my personal opinion of the Mandalorian. You guys could have a different opinion, but that was um a really awesome show and. One, one thing, if you guys saw the season finale of season two, you guys know which character I'm talking about or which black series I picked up. And he was just sitting on the peg in Walmart for how long and I always passed up on it. But after watching season two, the price had just skyrocketed. And let me just shut up and show you guys what I picked up. What I picked up was Luke, the Jedi Knight. Sorry about that glare again. There you go. And can't wait to put Luke with the rest of Mandalorian. And put Luke. What? I'm just gonna put him right there. And um, third one. I have the Masterpiece Starstream and Masterpiece Soundwave and I had a chance to pick up MP36, uh, MP36 Megatron when I passed up on it and when I had the funds to get it, he was sold out Then when they restocked him, his for some odd reason, the price of Megs went up. It was at $250 at first and now it's probably 400 or it's probably more but the third one I picked up was X Transbot of Megatron Master Series Apollyon and let me just take out the, um, the cover No, well, this is the back. There's the um, the thing. There's the um, I forgot what you call this, but the stats and all that. There's the side and here's the front. And here you go. Eclair is just horrible, but there you go. And I can't wait to put Apollyon, aka Megatron, next to Starscream, no, Starscream and, and uh, what's his face, Soundwave. And I'm gonna have to rearrange my bot section, but there you go. Side and put the Voltron here, and you know what? Last one is I probably gave you a hint of what the last one is, but you guys probably know when I look back there. Let's put it this way: I have to rearrange the detolf. Not that much. I'm just gonna put. Hold on. 
I'm just gonna um, shift loop to that shelf where Qui Gon is, and let me just show you guys the last one I picked up. It was from X Men Last Stand. As you guys see, it's a freaking hot toy. There's the back of the product shot of Wolverine. There's the people I made it. And here's the cover with as soon as you open the box. Oh man, this is just freaking sick. But that glare is just horrible. I have to apologize. There you go. And uh, I didn't expect to pick up all this stuff, but this was today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the love and support as always. But more importantly, <sighs> love you guys. All right, peace. Hold on. Don't roll. Don't want to knock them over. All right, peace. All right, here's a closer look at the hall. And to everyone at Toshi Station, and I do apologize if I did butcher the name. Thank you guys so much for the great customer service and if you guys ever want to visit them there's their facebook twitter and instagram at toshi nation there you go